banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. You better not call her toots, sweetheart, or a hot babe. She's a one-woman wrecking crew, an ass-kicking machine with tight pants and a ponytail. It's Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. Starring Lara Croft, who I always mispronounce as Laura Croft. No wonder she doesn't return my phone calls. That's actually a bad joke for an older generation, I suppose what I should say is no wonder she blocked me on Facebook. Maybe she's just too busy killing bad guys. If only this game had explosions. Oh! Oh it does, lots of them. It says something when Tomb Raider makes Call of Duty look like the Peace Corps. This game effortlessly blends adventuring and wall-to-wall -wall non-stop action. Tomb Raider is one of my favorite 2013 releases. It was in the top 10 Game of the Year awards show. It's an incredible reboot of one of the most popular video game franchises in history. This time with a facelift, it's the PlayStation 4 version of Tomb Raider. The definitive edition means you get all of the DLC as well as some mighty impressive visuals and incredible surround sound mixing. <sighs> Tomb Raider looks and sounds good on the PlayStation 3. This version is just mind-blowing. This is definitely the way to enjoy Tomb Raider. And enjoy you will, I previously reviewed the PlayStation 3 version, I absolutely love this game. It's a good story with high production values, and that perfect blend of action and adventure. And Lara Croft, who over the years I've found to be an annoying overrated character, comes across as a very strong and likable lead throughout the entire game, and she manages to keep her hair perfect throughout all of the blood, gore, and adventuring. Tomb Raider is well directed, it's well made, good voice acting, good music, good sound effects, and a wonderful use of surround sound for atmosphere. I like everything about this game. And the definitive edition makes it even better. I didn't feel like the PS3 version had a problem, but clearly it was screaming to look like this, which it now does, and that's good. In addition to some multiplayer maps, you also get a number of different outfits for Ms. Croft to adventure and slay bad guys in. We have Jungle Commando, Airline Pilot, and Cammy's outfit from Street Fighter. That's actually not in the game, but you know somebody just stopped the video and went to look for that. Puzzle solving has always been a big part of this series, and while the puzzles in Tomb Raider are not terribly difficult, in fact, they're downright easy the second time around. They're kind of cool and give her something else to do as she's running around the island, from which she has to escape. That's the plot of the game. I'm not going to give away the ending, but her hair is still perfect. Is, is that you, Sam Raimi? Why aren't you making more Army of Darkness movies? Or, or did I just make that up? Well, here's one thing I'm not making up. This game is awesome. If you haven't played Tomb Raider, this is the way to play it. It's on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. If you've already enjoyed the game, I'm not sure if there's enough here to warrant buying it again, but I can tell you that I had fun playing it again. 
It certainly goes a lot faster when you can skip the cutscenes and know exactly where to go. It's a wonderful action game that'll just keep you hooked from start to finish. One of the best of 2013, easily. There's a great variety of weapons, and as you're exploring, you're leveling them up and leveling up Ms. Croft, who by the end of the game could make Rambo her bitch. I look forward to seeing more of these games with the same kind of production values and excellent level designs. It's Tomb Raider, Definitive Edition, one of the best action games that you can play.